Welcome back trainers. So I have to re-upload this video due to a couple of errors. And because of that, I'm going to be giving away a Google and iTunes gift card. So make sure you hit that like button, head over to Twitter and like that as well. So I can get in contact with you. And with that said, let's get into this. No Reggie steal. Let's see what we can do with this. Max CP 2277, attack 161, defense 204 and stamina 181. You can see the weaknesses and resistances. Quick moves. We have Vine Whip and Iron Tail. You're going to definitely want to go with Vine Whip. Then we have Grass Knot, Aerial Ace, and Leaf Tornado with that, as well as Aerial Ace. Grass Knot's going to be doing big damage, but it's not going to be doing exactly what I want it to do for my team comp. So taking a look at it, uh, it is going to be ranked fairly high. So this is definitely not a meta Pokemon here, as well as Mawile. Not really meta. It does well, but it is ranked fairly high. So it is going to be good up against Azumarill, Swampert, Whiskash, Sableye, Meganium, and absolutely getting destroyed by the bug types as well as fire, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how it does going up against the entire meta. So, I mean, it's a little bit over 50% here with both grass moves, but then when I switch it over to Aerial Ace, it is going to be picking up a few more losses. All right, but like I said, it's just gonna be working better with the team comp that I do have with the specific move set. So taking a look at all the grass types that are gonna be viable and useful ranked in PVP poke here. Link in the description, as you can see, Superior is going to be ranked at 146, so really high up on the list. Just want to clarify that before we go into this here. So a lot of you guys have been really appreciating the videos that I put out with underused Pokemon, and we're going to continue to try to get to rank 10 without using Registeel. So we are going to be running Azumarill, uh, Mawile, and then Superior. So we are starting it off with Mawile, and later on we're going to start leading with Superior, and you're going to see the strategy behind that with this same team composition. So met with a Haunter here, now this isn't looking great, they do use a shield which wasn't going to be doing much damage but it was enough uh, for me to vamp up my Fire Fang and both of us faint out. They do make a mistake and they throw in their Pokemon before the timer's up so I am able to counterpick them. They're going to be going into their uh, Venusaur here and we're going to be switching into Superior using that super effective Aerial Ace. Now we have to look out for Sludge Bomb, it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage but we are so tanky, it's quite amazing. And when we do get off Leaf Tornado to lower their attack, we will be able to take hits that much better, especially going up against an Azumarill with Ice Beam. We can tank an Ice Beam much better than a Venusaur can. So we are lowering the attack, and we're going to be going for that again, trying to potentially get out that last shield. Now, this was a bit of a mistake. Uh, I do switch into an Azumarill. Yes, the attack is lowered, but let's see what we can do here. This was my first battle going back with the... A superior testing it out so yeah that was a bit of a mistake here trying to get that last shield out of them let's see if we can get it and we do and we do not have any more shields we're not able to get to a unfortunate to a hydro pump and they're going to be taking us out here and i just back out and uh, save them some time and save myself time they do get the win of course when you do that of right uh so moving into the next battle here we're going to pick it up a little bit. All right, we had our test round. Now let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we're met with an Azumarill. Not great. We're not going to be going into our Superior, hoping that they do switch out after they do use this charge move here, expecting an Ice Beam. That was a little bit soon. They do decide to continue on here. I think that was a potential bait to get a shield out of me uh, for a Play Rough. Uh, so they're going to continue on, expecting a Play Rough or a Hydro Pump now, obviously. And that is going to be a Play Rough. That's not great because we did switch our Azumarill back to Hydro Pump and Ice Beam. I was running Play Rough and Ice Beam. I decided to go with the Hydro Pump because of the Superior. Uh, we're not going to be able to do too much up against a Registeel, but if we do have Hydro Pump, we will be looking a little bit better in that situation. So we let it go down. We have two shields. They have one shield. Uh, we know we can take an Ice Beam. Let's see if we can get to this Leaf Tornado to lower their attack. Unfortunately not, so we're going to be shielding this up. And at this point, I think I could just farm down. They're going to be going in with Skarmory. And what I'm going to do is lower their attack and then switch into the Mawile. Mawile will absolutely destroy the Skarmory's with that Fire Fang, as well as Power Up Punch, just to make it stronger. Neutral damage with Power Up Punch. Not much damage uh, from that charge move, but it is making your quick move a lot better. So they decide to use a shield there, which is great. Now they have no more shields. We're able to take it down before they're able to get off another charge move. And now they're going in with the Whiskash. They have no more shields, so I'm going to think to myself, all right, we need to shield this up, go for the play rough, and they're going to basically be fainted. Since we did do power-up punch a couple of times, this is going to be doing a lot of damage, almost taking them out. We switch into our superior, 
And now we have a Leaf Tornado to get off onto the Zazumarill, and that is going to take the game there with plenty of health. So it is coming in pretty nicely. I do decide to use these weird Pokemon in random teams because it's so much funner than going in there with Registeel, Azumarill, and any other top metas, like, you know, with the entire lineup every single time. It's just not fun. So we are in a horrible matchup here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to just do as much damage as possible. I obviously can't switch. We're locked in here. We're not able to get to an ice beam. We could have potentially tapped on it, but we didn't. So what we're going to do now is just farm this thing down. Uh, the Thunderbolt's not going to be doing very much. The Hydro Pump is just going to be a waste. So we're going to just be able to gain as much energy as possible. I think I actually do go for a Leaf Tornado. And the, oh, nope. They make a switch into their Cresselia again. So we're going to lower that attack, and we're going to do that again, and then switch into our Mawile. And see what we can do here. So they're going to be going for a charge move, more than likely Aurora Beam, and that's what it is. Not doing very much damage, not very effective, but still hurting a little bit. So we're going to be going for that Power Up Punch, just to vamp up the Fire Fang here. And they still have two shields and three Pokemon, so uh, let's see what we can do. Our Azumarill is down, we're shielding this up. We're very low. They have a Heracross, which is going to be doing a ton of damage with that counter to the uh, Mawile here. And we're able to double KO. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what they decide to do here. We have barely any health. They have the Lantern. So at this point, I decide to faint down. We still have a shield. In comes the Cresselia, and we take it out with a Vine Whip and a shield left. All right. So this team is looking to be pretty good. And we're met by a Mighty Ana. This specific trainer had a lot of points too. I wonder if he's found some success using that. Very interesting pick there. It looks like they're running... Let me take a look at that again. I'm pretty sure that's Ice Fang, but the Shadow Mawile is making it a little bit difficult to completely distinguish what it is. So Power Punch did a lot. We're able to take them out. They still have two shields. They're bringing in the Polyrath here. Was trying to potentially build up to a play rough or make them think I am, in which they do use a shield. That definitely would have taken that Polyrath out. So I see why they used the shield there to uh, preserve it. Plus, they had two left. Why not? Uh, so I had to make a big decision. So we're going to go ahead and go with Superior. And then they switch into Skarmory. So we make a switch into our Zoomerol here. And now we're looking good. We had the perfect lineup. They switched. And now we're matched up perfectly so we just had to play this out correctly we have one shield there is i wouldn't say there's an opportunity to lose maybe a little bit if i farm too much polyrath can't really do much but we do not have play rough on our azumarill so we're not going to be doing anything to polyrath while it potentially will be able to hit us with hard hitting dynamic punches not very effective but still hurting more than an ice beam to the polyrath we make a switch immediately we had to stay on our guard uh, ready for that watching the switch clock getting off that Leaf Tornado lowering the attack. Dynamic Punch coming through, doing a good amount of damage. We're farming down. We're going to go for the Leaf Tornado. And what I think they were trying to do here was farm me down and then hit my Azumarill. Uh, but unfortunately, it was like the farm down or nothing. Uh, but we're able to take them down with the Leaf Tornadoes with Superior. <laughs> Not very effective. Let's go. All right, on to the next one here. And we're still going with Mawile. This is a great lead. So we're expecting a switch here. And still no switch. We're going to let this go through. And then potentially we have a switch coming in. We're just going to go for this. Maybe should have saved that energy for later on if they're going to make that switch now. Uh, and they are switching into Meganium. I should have kept going. Uh, this was a very questionable decision at the time. But watch how this all works out. So I take the Leaf Blade. We're not shielding that up. Uh, we're going to be going for an Ice Beam. And expecting a shield to come up. So now they're down a shield. Great. Almost able to get to another Ice Beam. Very unfortunate that they were able to farm us down. So now we have to make another important decision. Going in here with the Superior to just absorb the charge moves at this point. Uh, so Frenzy Plant, not very effective. And Ground's not very effective either. So you might as well just go for the Lesser Energy as well as the Stab move. Which is going to be the Frenzy Plant on Meganium. Uh, we're going to be going for Aerial Ace. Taking them out. And they're going to be going back into the Skarmory. Now, they ran into some lag here. Uh, yeah, that was really bad. They lost a bunch of quick moves there. Probably, like, maybe two or three, uh, which put me at a little bit more of an advantage. Although they had a Shiftery in the back. I don't know exactly how this could have played out if I would have still been able to win. I still do have two shields, and we know that we do not need to rely on our quick or our... Uh, Charge moves on Mawile going up against the Skarmory. We just have to rely on the Fire Fang. So 
I think I would have been able to do that, vamping up the Fire Fang and then taking out the Shiftry there. Uh, so unfortunate for the lag. I've lost a bunch of battles as well. And that is a very rare case where I actually get the lag benefiting me on my end. So as you've seen, the screen was recording. No weird funny business, right? On to the next battle. This is not good. So we're not going to be going into our superior, right? So we're just going to be switching into a zoom roll. We do not have play rough at this point. So we're just like hoping that they don't, in which they do, of course. Uh, they're making a switch into Tropius here, so this is good. I want them to take us out as quick as possible. Uh, while we're still able to get off two Ice Beams, this is great. So they're either going to shield this, which, yeah, that's definitely going to get a shield there, uh, because they want to finish us off. But we're going to go back in here with, I do believe, Mawile would be the correct choice. And they're going to be getting off a charge, letting this go through, saving the shield for the superior or potentially another matchup here. And they're going to be going in with the Azum roll. All right, so this is a big move. I'm going to be going for play rough. So let's hope we get this through. We do great. So let's just hope they have another thing weak in the back to grass. Otherwise, it's a game over. And we have two shields with our superior. They're switching into a little bit of Marowak. Now, this is where I made my mistake. I should have went for Leaf Tornado. This would have lowered the attack. Therefore, the... Uh, fire spins would have been doing less damage and you're going to see exactly how this could have potentially played out and then i should have been going for the aerial ace at this point and we would have had a little bit more health i do decide to go for the desperation leaf tornado to lower the attack for potentially longer life on my superior um, we're able to get to another aerial ace and it's unfortunate we just don't have enough health and we go down with the shield so I could have played that a little bit differently, but this is a very weird team, so you got to do what you got to do. Anyways, we're going to be starting it off with the superior now. Let's see how this works. I'm going to tell you it worked great. This is a horrible lead, right? But it all works out in the end. So we're making a switch into our good counter, and they have a shiny Lucario back there, flexing the shiny. So this is going to do a lot of damage with counter, especially when they power up punch me here. Uh, but the Fire Fang is just too much for the Lucario to handle. They go down, bringing in Altaria, going for the Play Rough. Let's see if we can land this. If we do not, that's fine. They have burned both their shields, which is great. Unfortunately, though, they have a bunch of energy. So we're going to go in here and <laughs> eat this. Yeah, it seems a little crazy. And they're going to be switching into Skarmory. And now we're going to place our trap. We're going to lower the attack, switch into the Azumarill. We know the only thing that they have left is the Skarmory and the Altaria, and the Azumarill can handle that. It's so long as we did lower the attack on the Skarmory here, and we have one shield, so we're going to be preserving the health at this point, gaining a little bit more energy than needed, and going for that Ice Beam, and this should be able to KO. And then we just have to do a couple more bubbles, get to an Ice Beam. We should survive this. Actually, we will survive this. And we're going to be able to get to another Ice Beam, and we take the win, even with that horrible matchup with Superior in the beginning up against Skarmory. Let's go! It's all about that strategy, folks. You have to think about it. It's not about putting good Pokemon on your team. It's about how you play them and the strategies that you use, as well as the tech on some of them. Uh, in this case, the Superior with that uh, lowering the attack of the opponent. So they have a Haunter right in the beginning. So we're switching into a Zoomeral here, kind of our safe switch. And they could potentially be making a switch after this, expecting a shield. Yep. And they're still going, gain a little bit more energy, and now they're switching into Meganium. Uh, lucky for us, we're able to store up energy from the Haunter and burn a shield on the Meganium. They have no more shields left. This is great. So you can go ahead and take me down, please. Because what we're going to do is enter with Mawile. If you come back in with the Haunter, we'll be able to just absolutely demolish you with Fire Fangs uh, after we do vamp it up with the Power Punch. So... Learned my lesson a few times, and you're going to see a battle here where I just... It, it was it was all bad <laughs> up against the beginning with my Mawile. But anyways, in this case, we're not going to be stingy with the shields. And we're going to be letting this one go through, potentially Earthquake. But I guess I knew it was too soon, so I let it go through. In comes the Haunter here, and we're going to be shielding this up. Going for Fire Fang, taking them out. What do you have in the back? It's an Azumarill. Great. And guess what we have? Superior. But the problem is that whole Ice Beam deal. But the thing is, we're going to be able to lower the attack. And now you're going to be able to see how well Superior can take those Ice Beams from Azumarill. This is big. This is really big here. So let's take a look. After the attack has been lowered, a Play Rough comes on. <laughs> All that buildup for a Play Rough? Come on. 
All right, still doing good damage. Ice Beam would have done about the same amount. Just to let you know, uh, it takes it so much better than Venusaur does. Uh, so we are met with a Registeel. This isn't great at all. So we're going to be switching into a Zoomerel. We do have Hydro Pump, so this is why I specifically put it on it uh, in these cases here. They're not switching, which uh, it's not great. But if they let this go through, we'll be looking fantastic. And they let it go through, so we're looking fantastic. Right? So we can take another Flash Cannon and we should be able to farm down. Or hit an Ice Beam, and they're either going to use a shield or let it go. I think they should just let it go, yeah. We have two shields, they have two shields, and we're met with an Azumarill. I was potentially trying to get to a Hydro Pump, but if they don't farm us down, that's fine. If they expend the energy, great. Now we're just going to go in here with Superior, and do the Superior thing. Expecting them to switch, and the beautiful thing about Superior is if they do decide to switch, you can go ahead and go Leaf Tornado to whatever they do get switch locked into, lowering the attack, and then making your switch. So you will be able to take hits a lot better. They're deciding to stay in here, probably expecting the Ice Beam to do a little bit more. And there was your Ice Beam example. So it can tank it. Now we've lowered the attack twice, and at this point we're farming. We're farming it all the way home. And there's a Whisk Hash in the back, and I just had a big smile on my face. I was like, yeah, let's go. All right, so we all know how this is going to play out. I'm going to take it out. Surviving that. And finishing out with quick moves, almost. Shielding this up could be a potential blizzard. I think is a little too soon. And uh, taking the win there. So since you guys keep smashing that like button, please do so for this video. And I will continue to bring you these kind of videos with underused Pokemon and very random picks here. So we're met with a Venusaur here. So we're just going to go for that Aerial Ace, doing super effective damage. Switching in Mawile to absorb this Sludge Bomb here. And it's not going to be very effective. Doing almost half damage. Uh, they do switch into Azumarill. At this point, we're going to be going for Play Rough. Uh, I think I may shield this or preserve the shield for Superior. Yeah, I think that's what I would probably want to do. Uh, seeing that there's a Venusaur in the back, I could potentially get to Aerial Ace with the Superior. After lowering the attack so much, they let it go through. Uh, we can let the Ice Beam go through. Let's see if it is. Ice Beam, we take it. Look at that. Looking great. So we're going to go ahead and go for another one here to potentially get the shield or take them out. They decide to use a shield at this point. So that's good because what we're going to do is shield up and farm down. We're going to have a bunch of energy. Let's go. So we take it down. We have very little health, so we need to be careful. Uh, they do bring in Deoxys and... Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now, this match. Oh boy. All right, so we're going to be going Frenzy Plant, Frenzy Plant, or <laughs> Leaf Tornado. Doesn't have Frenzy Plant yet. And make a switch into Zoomerol. They're switching into Venusaur. We can't take that. Uh, we take it down there. We use a shield. Now, we're just going to be going for this. Uh, trying to burn that last shield. But they're holding on to it. We already know that this is going to potentially have a Thunderbolt. So it's pretty much a game over. Not 100% game over. I mean, it looks like it can be able to farm down with quick moves. Potentially, I don't know. I should just keep going bubble. And... Wanting to almost make a switch into the superior, but that was that time is way gone. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Superior has no more health, and we take a loss, so we're able to win three out of the five there. So I mean, that's that's not bad. We're able to win four out of the five coming up. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Met with a Skarmory, we know we need to get out of there. Switching into the Zoomerol here, they gained a bunch of energy as well as us getting a bunch of energy. They make a switch into Meganium, and now we're able to go ahead and go with that Ice Beam. And we're going to go ahead and let whatever they use go through here. It's a Frenzy Plant. So they're farming us down. We had an Ice Beam, but we're not able to get it off. So that Meganium has a bunch of loaded energy. Uh, I decide to go ahead and go in here with the Mawile, and I make a huge mistake. This is what I was talking about. I thought it was going to be a Frenzy Plant. At this point, it's game over. Yes, I have two shields, but they have a Skarmory in the back. I decide to just... Let them have the win there. I surrender! Alright, moving on, we have an Altaria lead. Switching into Azumarill here. And this is fine, because we also have them all well to handle the Altaria later on if need be. Uh, so they do switch into Skarmory. We're going to be going for the Ice Beam. And now we're going to go for the Hydro Pump. So hopefully they let this one go through. Uh, because if they do, it's going to be doing a lot of damage here. And they let it go through. We needed that. 
Uh, so we still have a shield, great. So at this point, I think I let the Azumarill get shielded or <laughs> that I was gonna go down there. Uh, farming it down, all right, exactly, good play here. Uh, the Altaria does come in. Now we're going to shield this up and force them to use a shield themselves and potentially abling us to get to another Ice Beam. Let's go. I was on point. Let's see this. All right, so good. Make it a switch to Mawile. Oh my gosh, that was clutch. And they give up. <laughs> good games. Hey, I know the feeling. I know the feeling as presented here. I tell you guys, I'll show you all the battles. I don't even, I'll show you even the battles I rage quit at. I don't care. <laughs> if I know I lost it, it's over. I mean, why why, why continue on and, and drag your knees? Anyways, we're met with a Altaria here. And we got off that Leaf Tornado. We switch into a Zoomeral. Uh, they are locked, so that attack is lowered. And we're just going to go Ice Beam, of course. Of course. Uh, now we have to see what we're going to do here. Do we let this go through? Getting a little brave. Because if they potentially shield this up, they can farm us down and have a bunch of energy, which wouldn't be good. But they let it go through, so I was like, okay, thank goodness. Melmetal. Unfortunately, they're able to farm us. Melmetal gains energy quick, so that thing is loaded. Not good at all. So we're going to go ahead and go Mawile. They make a switch immediately into their Azumarill, and we're going into Superior, folks. Let's get it. Man, I love this thing. So tanky. So amazing. The usability is great with that Leaf Tornado, lowering the attack. I love it. So we're shielding that up. Thought it might have been an Ice Beam. Wanted to preserve this a little bit more. It was a play rough, unfortunately. But hey, we still have more health here. At this point, I'm thinking, what do they have? Hydro Pump play rough? That's what it has. So it's going to take a while for them to get to another one. So I decide to farm almost. Gain a little bit more energy. Going to get this off before they potentially make me use another shield. They do enter in with Mill Metal. We're going to lower the attack. Make a switch into Mawile, that's their last Pokemon, and then go ahead and Fire Fang it, and then go for that Power Punch, and take the win with the Mawile. Let's go. So the Superior lead is looking fantastic. Super good. Met with another Venusaur. All right, so we're going to switch and catch it. Very nice catching that Frenzy Plant or the Sludge Bomb on the Mawile. Yet again, we've seen this before. They make a switch into Registeel, and I... It again had a smile on my face. We know this. We know how this works out. We're going to use shields on our Mawile. We will survive. And if uh, we can get off a play rough onto whatever does enter in after this, we potentially will. And I use that energy, so no play rough, but that's okay. We get this off. We make them use a shield. And I'm like, nope. I'm holding my ground there, bud. And we're staying in this fight, taking them out with a fire fang there. They have one shield. Uh, let's see what they decide to enter into the battle with here. Venusaur. They're going back in with that Venusaur. A little bit brave. Uh, so potentially something in the back they don't want having the Mawile lined up with. Uh, going in here with the Superior. Finishing off with Quick Moves. And it's a Bastidon. Okay, yeah. They did not want that Power Punch meeting that. So what we're going to do is severely lower the attack on the Bastidon. Uh, as you can see, Leaf Tornado is not doing much damage. And they can potentially hit us with a flamethrower, which is going to do super effective damage. Although we will survive. Superior is tanky, and you're going to see right here. Might be a Stone Edge. It's a flamethrower. We still survive. Making that immediate switch after they did expend that energy. The attack has been lowered, and this is looking good for us. So if you did enjoy these battles, trainers, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And I will be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go, as well as awesome battles using underused Pokemon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. The first reports of the virus are believed to have been in state college. The virus has since spread throughout the state of Pennsylvania. It is believed that it will spread to adjacent states within the next 12 hours. Some of the affected persons are turning into zombie-like creatures. <laughs>